world where we define intelligence and ability by numbers. We often fail to see the importance of things like inspiration and creativity, things that can't be counted. Now, inspiration is defined as the drawing in of breath, an inhalation. It is an inhalation of creativity, of passion, ambition, and curiosity, all mixed together. Inspiratory dreams are the dreams that, want you make, that make you want to write those lyrics down and get up and build something. I want to remember these dreams, because the facts about them are pretty great. Psychologists Todd M. Thrash and Andrew J. Elliott have developed something called the Inspiration Scale, which measures the frequency of inspiration in a person's life. And they found something very interesting about this. They found that, one, higher scorers on the Inspiration Scale improve the most towards their goals. Two, people who are more open to inspiration had a greater chance of experiencing it. And that three, inspired individuals believe that inspiration just happens. You can't force it to. Inspiration is also called a top trait of leadership. IBM did a study on over 1,700 CEOs from over 64 countries, and they all agreed on three important factors of leadership, which were the ability to meet the needs of the consumer, the ability to collaborate with colleagues, and finally, the ability to inspire. To add on to this, Harvard Business School surveyed over 5,000 leaders, and they also agreed that inspiration was what they were looking for in these leaders. Now, the secret behind strong leadership is a motivation plan, a vision plan. It's all about challenging the cliché and allowing creativity to come into play. With inspiration, you can make things like work, essays, research, homework, all seem like a breeze. And it's what levels up engagement in school and in work. Now, maybe you don't know why inspiration affects you personally. Well, I'm here to tell you why. Maybe you've been playing piano for six years now. You've never really liked it, and you kind of maybe hate it in fourth grade. But one day, after your brain gives some burst of color, you find yourself writing a song. And then that may become your hobby, or even your future career. A random person on the internet asks, what's the difference between motivation and inspiration? Well, motivation, I like to think of it as an outside force. It's something compelling you to do something. It could be your friends asking you to do something, it could be a due date looming over your head, whatever. Inspiration is something that comes from within. It's you telling you what to do. And it's a driving burst of energy that not only affects the work quantity, but the work quality. Now, I decided to speak on this topic because I'm a very hands-on, kinetic type person. Um, I have joined a lot of the arts, and those of you who also do can understand just how hard it is to be to sketching that one thing when you're on an art block. However, I found that inspiration affects me in other ways, too. While I was writing the third draft of the speech, I kept reading that over and over again, but something was just lacking. And so I went downstairs to grab some food, because food was always the answer, and I suddenly was bursting with ideas. I could structure my sentences better, make it flow my entire speech better. With inspiration, I hopefully made this TED Talk worth your time. The thing with inspiration is, when I was trying to research it and get like information and facts and details about it, I couldn't find very much stuff. Like, the internet was empty, and that usually doesn't happen. I noticed that it's very difficult to find anything, and the reason was, was because inspiration, much like creativity, is considered a phenomenon. It's almost hypothetical, conceptual, a thought. But just because you can't count it, does that mean it doesn't exist? Many of the most game-changing people in this world have all had ideas which stem from one question, which stem from inspiration. Take Wilbur and Orville Wright, for example. They ask themselves, why can't humans fly like birds? Now, airplanes are the quickest mode of transport, moving people, goods, and ideas across the across the globe. Let's look at Thomas Edison. He asked himself, why nighttime only brought darkness? And now light bulbs illuminate us. They're everywhere. They were right in our future. Fast forward to a more recent event. Steve Jobs, college dropout entrepreneur, founded Pixar, Next, and then now Apple. Where did his idea for the Mac come from? 
pure inspiration. Your dreams, your inspirations are so powerful. This is the phenomenon of inspiration.